Stacker on a journey to find silver. International Stacker. Hey guys, International Stacker here, and today's a special video. I'm going to be shooting my uh, full stack as of June of 2016. So it's not a complete year, but you all know my situation. I'm a contractor overseas, hence the name International Stacker. Um, so I only get to see my stack every so often, so I figured I'd do it now. So let's get going. Over here on the side is going to be all my bars. These are all 10 ounce bars, except for this five ounce. Most of them are generic bars um, from Provident, but I did get one Royal Canadian Mint, which I really like. It's a great bar. These bars are all really nice bars. Provident does a great job. And this is a Sunshine Mint one. Here's my little one ounce bar. So I've got a mix of uh, Golden State Mint, OPM. This is the one I picked up from that coin shop, if you remember. And then some American flag one ounce. This is my constitutional silver, so these are all dimes. Got two Walker Walking Liberties, Benjamin Franklin, and a Kennedy. 90% silver, all that. This is my uh, US Mint Silver Eagles. Each stack here is 20 ounces, so 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 240 ounces of Silver Eagles. Coming back down here, we get into my poured silver. So, this here is um, my Atlantis Mint Fractional, which I love these. So I got five gram, 10 gram, half ounce. This is my Asgard Silver, which is really cool. Really cool. Here's my Jaeger Port Silver, which I got tricked. I thought was my Silver Slacker piece I wanted so bad. <laughs> I made a video about this, so go watch this video. Uh, these are Sons of Liberty mint, quarter ounce, so that's one ounce there. These are Silver Slacker play buttons. Got five of those. Silver Slacker matching set, the gears. I messed that up. So this is a matching set, number 109. This is moving up into all my MK bars. These are all limited edition. I go over these in detail in my uh, MK Bars video, so make sure to check that out. So these are three ounces. Yep, three ounces, four ounces, right, four? Yep, and then these two are five ounces. Yep, these are limited edition two ounce. These are all one ounce, one ounce, one ounce. I love these, it's probably one of my favorites, one ounce. These are all two ounce pirate squares. These are one ounce MK bar squares. One ounce, one ounce. These are my one ounce Kit Kats. My two ounce Kit Kats, and these guys are super cool. And some of the best things you can do with poured silver, handle it. I feel like a pirate, like how pirates used to shop back in the day when I do that. Okay, so moving over here, we got my Scottsdale Mint. So these are 10 ounce stacker. Uh, bars. One second, let me get my uh, glove on here. Let me get my glove on here. Man, how do I do that so quick all the time? Best thing about these is you stack them. These are two ounce stacker rounds. You see they're hollow on the bottom. Awesome. Five ounce button, one ounce bar, one ounce rounds. And these are a bunch of uh, fractional five gram bars. Now, why do I get these fractional? Well, because it's a higher premium, you lose some money. Well, first off, I like them a lot. Secondly, the reasons I stack. I stack for uh, to preserve my wealth for the future for retirement, fight inflation. Hopefully, it will turn into investment, although that's not my number one thing. And I know there's a lot of controversy about it being investment because it adjusts for inflation. So is it truly gaining value? Um, it's a store of value. I'm aware of that. But also, too, in scenarios where, say, there's some sort of economic problems or I want to pay somebody in silver, these fractional pieces will make it a lot easier to do that without having to cut a coin with some pliers or something. Okay, moving up into the Australian. I got 2017 near the Roosters. I've got the Dragon 
and fire coin, I think it was. Two koalas. One, two, three, four, five, six kookaburras, and they're all 2017. I got five of the 2016, no, of the kangaroos, but three of them are 20, two of them are 2016, three of them are 2017. Moving up here into Fiji, these are all iguanas 2015. Actual minted, uh, it's actual coin or um, ten, legal tender. There's an iguana there, and then I've got one of the Great Wave. Now, I usually don't buy things in Surty Locks and Slabbed and all that. I'm not into that at all. I'm mostly into it for the weight or the numismatic value to flip it and turn it into more weight. But I got such a great deal on these. Super close to spot. So I got them in this and they're in it, so I might as well keep them. And then I got two Congos. I call them the Ombre coins. You know, the Gorilla Ombre. The two con Congo. Legal Tinder and Congo. Moving over here, I've got my UK. So this is a whole tube of uh, Britannias. Or at least 20 Britannias. This is a uh, Queen's Griffin. Moving down to Canadian, I've got four complete tubes of 25 Canadian maple leaves. I've got the Canadian maple leaf with the Bigfoot Privy. I just thought that was awesome, how to get it. I got two of the Lynx coins. I think it's only 50,000 minted, so I'm gonna try to flip those in a couple years, turn it into more weight. And I've got this bad boy here, same thing. Coming down here into my gold, I don't buy gold a lot, but if I ever place a large order, I'll buy some gold. And um, yeah, I like to get a little piece here and there. So this is some Camp Swiss, 2.5 grams. This is one gram here. I've got this Middle Eastern coin, which I showed you guys from Saudi Arabia. I did the specific gravity test on this. It confirmed it was 22 carat. I got this little 10th ounce um, Philharmonic. 10th ounce, or actually I think this is a quarter ounce. Yeah, this is a quarter ounce, I believe. Uh, gold Eagle. Yeah, quarter ounce. Then I got a quarter ounce Australian kangaroo, four nines, okay, so that's my gold. Moving up here, I've got my randoms, so I got one Philharmonic, I'm not really into the Philharmonics, I know they're super famous, but I'm not really into them, but I got one. Armenian silver Noah's Ark, these are three Libertads, Li Libertad, <laughs> since I'm in California, I try to say it right. This is a uh, Panda, 2016 Panda. Uh, these are some of my silver rounds, as you can see here. This is a really cool silver round. This is the two ounce. I forget what it's called, Buccaneer or something. This is that Las Vegas one you guys saw me get from that Coin Mart. This is a sweet one I wanted forever. It's part of the Egyptian God series, I believe. And then these are two starter packs. So I did the JM Bullion starter pack. And then I did another starter pack at goldsilver.com. So it's the same thing. I believe both were 10 ounces at spot. So I took advantage of that. So that's 20 ounces there. And guys, that's my uh, stack. Not even a complete year um, since June of 2016. So I think I'm doing pretty well. If you come over here to my computer, I can tell you this on the table is 642 ounces of silver, 0.723 ounces of gold, but my Saudi coin is not figured into that gold, so I'm about an ounce now, or close, to, very close to an ounce. The average spot of all my purchases is $17.13. My uh, average spot for the gold was 960.22, which that's incorrect. I was messing with that earlier. Don't pay attention to that. That's not the average spot. Oh, that's because I did that. Let's fix this. There you go. The average spot I paid is $1,105.88. Um, total fiat invested in gold is $971.74. Total fiat invested in silver is $1,377.12. Now I know what you're saying. How come that number doesn't match the average spot? That's the average spot price of every time I placed a, a purchase, not the actual price I paid. You all know you're gonna pay above spot depending on the premium of the coin. So this is the 
average I have. In the future, I plan to do a more comprehensive one where I can actually truly see the amount I paid because of the difference between the average spot and the premium price. But in the most part, I think I've done pretty well. You can see here, I keep track of every single purchase I make. And the first purchase I made was June 16th. My last purchase was February 22nd, which is the date of this video. And I even keep track of how I paid for it. Cash, cash, cash. I found out I can do checks online, which started saving me a ton of money. I didn't know that before. So I actually lost probably a few hundred bucks by not knowing that. And then Bitcoin. I've uh, actually bought some items in Bitcoin. So I've got a Bitcoin mining operation that I'll show you guys one day. I'm going to make a video about it when I'm back in the kingdom. So yeah. This is my stack, 642 ounces. It, I was actually surprised it's a lot smaller than I expected, but hey, everyone's gotta start somewhere, right? All right guys, thanks for watching. See you next time.